Wow, okay. Um, it's kind of up in the air right now. We're supposed to make a, a, a blending uh, barrel aging area there, but it looks like I've been robbed of a lot of uh, space there. So we, we will do some, some blending there, but it will be probably very small scale testing and mostly focus on mixed fermentation. Um, I'm trying to get a hold of a serious barrel aging area. Ideally, the whole thing started as a place for me to barrel age beer. Of course, it wasn't very convenient due to the low ceilings and things like that, but uh, lack of ability to pull things in. But right now, it looks like it's going to be a, a Lervig bar uh, or a place to try Lervig beers out and um, you know, uh, be part of the be part of the bar scene with our products, but without being imposing on all the other bars in the center, center of the town and hopefully have some experimentation there hopefully it's going to be nice it's uh it's not going to be open until june or so next year so a lot of things up in the air still but it's definitely happening so. the tonka bean thing is uh i don't know I'll, I'll just say we use around one kilo for every thousand liters in the in there and uh what was the next question what, what beer are you most proud of oh, i think lucky jack just for the the direction to help push this brewery in and, and, and push everything off into it wasn't a very hard beer for me to create, but it was it was a, it was a defining beer for this place in, in my career. So that's, I guess I'd say Lucky Jack. I say both. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if I had to eat one, it'd probably be the the pong. <laughs> ah, God damn it! Well, the worst thing I can go on and on about, it's, uh, I would say, the restrictions on how you can sell alcohol is the biggest factor that, you know, you can't just uh, sell your, your, your products over 4.7 straight to the consumer, which really limits how a brewery can operate. Um, having to sell all your products over 4.7 to the consumer through the state-run V-Monopoly is another issue for me. Um, the costs of things, you know, getting the, all the raw ingredients and materials up here takes time and, you know, we're not in EU, so it's a lot more hassle to get stuff and we end up uh, spending a lot of money on that and time. Um, what's good about it, um, Norwegians, they love to drink beer. Um, I feel uh, we're appreciated as a brewery and Seems uh, seems like Norway's uh, we have good water, and that's that's probably the best thing about brewing in Norway is the water quality. But uh, also the the climate's nice. The I mean <laughs> I, I don't mind the cold, but working in a hot brewery that's hot outside it's not fun. So it's not bad. 